Good evening, ladies. I'll give everyone just a minute to hop on. Say hi when you get on. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Comment below. Give me some hearts. Make sure I can hear myself. All right, good evening, good evening. I am excited to go live and talk with y'all tonight. Thank you, Christina, for allowing me to speak and share about my business and what works for me. So I hope that you can walk away with something of value for you and your business. And I'm super excited to talk about something I'm passionate about, and that is demoing. So, we all know that demos are the bread and butter of our business, right? Okay, so what are demos exactly? Um, I think the term itself can be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you are new to Cinegents, if you're new to LipSense, if you are just starting your distributor business and <clears throat> I know that it took me a while to build up confidence with demoing and I initially built my business entirely on social media so Facebook Instagram YouTube and it's not until the last few months that I've been demoing in person and that has been a game changer in my business but I will admit that it took me time to build that confidence, but I'm so glad that I started demoing in person. Um, and if you have any questions, if anything comes to mind about my story, or if you wanna ask me anything, feel free. I'm an open book. You can comment below, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have about how I demo. So, like I said, I only demoed on social media. Um, I had my Facebook group that I started back in February, nine months ago when I became a distributor, and I invited people to join my online store in my Facebook group. Um, I posted on my Facebook page. Um, I did create a, a business page from the beginning, um, and then I had my Instagram and YouTube but it wasn't until this fall that I started getting outside my comfort zone and doing um, in-person demos and trade shows. And I think it's very important to do both. So that was really what made me start doing more in-person demos because I wanted to expand my network. I wanted to build my confidence and grow. And so I think that's really, really important. Um, to not rely on in person alone and to not rely on social media alone. For me, the combination of the two has been huge for my business. And um, I, you know, started really just studying the back office um, a few months ago and listening to the webinars, um, figuring out, you know, okay, what exactly is a demo? And um, demos can actually be anything where we're wowing and talking about the product. So it could be on social media. Um, like I said, that is how I demoed the first six months of my business. I would, you know, make videos and do the get ready with me videos and tutorials and um, teach people about our products and our skincare and how amazing they are. And so that was all the demoing I did until recently. And um, you know, I found out that a demo can be done, you know, in person at a trade show or um, a one-on-one demo or with a couple people 
at Starbucks, you know, that's totally a demo, having, you know, a few uh, girlfriends for coffee and showing them these products and how amazing they are. That's a demo. Um, or doing a Glamour de demo, a Cineblend. Um, I know I've started just, you know, inviting friends and saying, hey, let me come do your makeup. And, you know, no pressure. Um, just come see how amazing, you know, this stuff is that I've been wearing. And um, that is how I've been doing one-on-one -on -one demos and um, building my business that way. So it can be any of those things. Um, I try to do all of them. Um, and the key to booking demos for me personally has been expanding my network. Okay, so I'm not going to friends and family and asking them if they want to book a demo. Um, from the beginning of my business, I have been expanding my network and finding different ways to do that. So that's using social media. Um, and probably the biggest way I've expanded my network with my business has been through my Cinesite. It has hands down been the best investment in my business. And I can tell you a few reasons why. So, um, when you sign up for a Cinesite, I know I was, you know, worried about the investment, you know, if it was worth it or not. And I can honestly say that investing in a Cinesite has been totally worth it. It paid for itself right away. Um, and people will literally come to me, you know, wanting to purchase. Um, and, you know, that was how I expanded my network locally as well. Um, I know I am new to my community. I have not lived here um, very long, just a little more than a year. And so that was one of my goals um, a few months ago was to really build my network locally. And so having that Cinesite has been so crucial um, in building that. And people have been, you know, finding me through my Cinesite. Um, you know, my first in-person demo was actually a local customer who found me off of my Cinesite. So my first in-person group demo, you know, that's crazy. Um, you know, she fell in love with Lip Sense, found me through my Cinesite, placed a large order, and of course, you know, wanted to share it with all of her friends and get a discount, you know. So I had a great demo just from someone finding me off my Cinesite. Um, I know this weekend I sold a collection with two colors to someone else who found me off my Cinesite. Um, so that's a potential demo, um, a potential distributor. And, you know, so how I convert, um, you know, a customer to a demo um, or introduce that option is I just ask them, you know, have you ever considered hosting a demo to earn some free products or get a discount. Um, and then I also ask them if, you know, if they ever considered being a distributor. So I offer them that Synergence choice, um, you know, after they, you know, try the product and love it and I follow up with them. And then from there, you know, ask if they want to book a demo. Um, so I wanted to talk about fear as well um, because I know a lot of people, you know, are afraid to, book demos, maybe they're more comfortable like I was with social media and in person um, is a little bit more of a challenge and it's outside of your comfort zone. You know, so if you're afraid to book those in person demos, like I said, I built my confidence by listening to trainings. So I literally went into our back office that we have available for free. It's like gold. Um, and there are tons of webinars just on booking. Um, I know Carly Krauss, our upline, has a great webinar where she talks about how she demos, um, how she books demos, how she has successful demos, um, how she recruits through those demos. Like, it's literally gold. Um, so, all you do is go to the back office and go to resources and then training and then webinars. And there's just tons and tons of webinars that you can listen to. Um, I know I'll like get ready and do, you know, my makeup and I'll have those webinars like playing. And that's like my personal development. Um, it's boosting my product knowledge. Um, it is, you know, teaching me how to wow book demo direct. Um, you know, so that really is what built my confidence. Um, I know I did not have a launch demo. Um, and I had never been to an in-person demo. 
um, before becoming a distributor. I had never even tried lip sense before becoming a distributor. So there's a lot of, you know, um, ways that I, my story is different than maybe yours. Um, you know, so I didn't have someone launch me, do an in-person launch. My uh, upline is out of state. Um, and, you know, I didn't do a Facebook launch. I just had my online store. Um, for, for me personally, I decided that's what would be best for my business. And that did build my confidence. Um, but anyway, um, fear, I wanted to leave you with this. If you don't take anything else away from what I had to share about my story. Um, one of my mentors is Shalene Johnson. Um, and she has a great book um, called Push. And I highly recommend um, downloading it. She used to have a free download available on her website. Um, but you can look it up, Push by Shalene Johnson. And she teaches you how to set goals, um, not just for your business, but for life in general. And how to reverse engineer those big scary goals into smaller, more attainable goals. And it's one of my favorite personal development books. Um, but Shalene in her book, Push, talks about confidence and how we create confidence. Um, because I'm not this naturally confident person. Um, you know, most of us are not. You know, most of us have fears and insecurities and vulnerabilities. And that is totally okay. Like, we do not need to have this business completely figured out. You know, and we're not perfect. We're always learning and growing, right? And getting outside of our comfort zone. Um, but in her book, she talks about how confidence is created by doing things that scare us over and over again and realizing that we didn't die and then um, just repeating that. And that always stuck with me, you know, because we have this fear of failure. We have a fear of demos, you know, like what if, you know, our demo fails? What if we don't have any bookings? You know, what if we don't meet our income goal? Um, you know, we have all these what ifs and all these fears about demoing, um, and that's, you know, really just false. It's not reality. It's in our heads. Um, it's not evidence-based. Um, you know, so we have to realize that, that confidence is built by doing things that scare us, those really hairy, scary things that get us outside of our comfort zone and realizing, okay, that wasn't so bad. I lived through that. I didn't die, you know, and then doing it again, you know, um, it's okay if we, you know, weren't perfect. As long as you keep going and as long as you learn from your mistakes, um, then that's all that matters. So I just want to leave that with you. That always helped me get over my fears and grow in confidence with this business. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll be glad to answer those live. Let me refresh here. I don't see any questions, but um, if you're watching the replay, feel free to drop a question in the, in the comments below this video and I'll be glad to go back and answer those. So I hope this helped you um, hearing about how I demo and I hope you'll have a great night. Bye.